Hey everyone, welcome back to Brown Coat Nerd. Today, as promised, is going to be the first part of a little kind of mini series I guess I'm making on different upgrades that I'm making to the Lynx 12 shotgun. Um, but I've already done kind of an initial impressions or faux unboxing of this gun. I will have to mention because I hate doing videos on guns that I haven't had a chance to shoot yet, and this is one of those. It's just the way things are right now, unfortunately. Um, but I told you guys I was going to be doing some short videos on little mods I'm doing to this. Now, most of the mods for the Lynx 12 are going to be cross-compatible with your Sega, Sayaga, Saga, Sega shotguns. So what we have here, this is the tri-billet rail that I got from Carolina, Carolina Shooter Supply, or CSS. If I accidentally misabbreviate them and say CCS, I'm sorry. Isn't that that old skater magazine? I, I remember like in the 90s, I think that's where I got all my airwalks and vans back when I was trying to pretend I was a skater and I could barely pull off an ollie. Anyways, backtracking there a little bit in time. So what this is, Carolina Sega 12 Tactical Billet Tri-Rail. Now this runs 124.95. And as you can see, it's exactly what the description uh, described. It is a tri-rail. It's not a full quad rail. Um, I was looking around. I wasn't wanting to spend a whole bunch of money um, on rails. I actually typically don't like rails on my guns. I've mentioned that before. Um, but this isn't, you know, a historical gun. It's not military surplus. Um, I've got full free range to have whatever fun I want with it. Excuse me. I did come across a couple of, they're either quad rails or tri rails um, that were really cheap, like 35 bucks. Um, sorry, I can't remember the name because once I found a few reviews on it, I was just no longer interested. The downside of those, the aluminum's not very thick. Um, apparently, once you shoot it just a little bit, they get pretty toasty. And the big Achilles heel for me was they mounted via the uh, sling screw. And that was it. There was no tab back here. Like on the original, how it has a little tab that kind of pops into the, re the receiver. Now the Carolina Shooter Supply one that we have here does have a tab. It's actually a pretty decent sized tab. It's definitely bigger than the tab that was on the original uh, foregrip that came on the Lynx 12. And as I assumed, there is no heat shield inside there. And once again, like I said, guys, unfortunately I haven't had a chance to shoot this gun at all. So I have no clue if this necessarily needed um, a heat shield or not. But just so you know, there is not one in there, at least for the Lynx 12. I don't know if the Sayaga Saga um, had those. Now, real quick, one thing you'll notice is this does come with a replacement screw to use. You do not use the original screw that was on the um, original handguard. Um, the one I ordered actually came with two replacement screws. They looked perfectly identical. So I don't know if it's just an extra one wasn't longer or anything like that. Um, but you're going to lose your sling attachment in the front. Now, of course, there's all kinds of add-ons that you can get little sling attachments for the rails. So if you're really wanting a sling, you know, you're going to have to buy an extra part to do that. You're not going to retain that original little sling loop on the bottom, which for me, I'm perfectly fine with. Like I said, this isn't a military surplus gun. Um, the only reason I have slings on my military surplus guns is because it makes them more historically accurate. I never use the sling. I will never, ever, ever use a sling on this. Um, so I just don't plan on uh, using one at all. So the loss of that sling loop, no big issue for me. Now, the other thing I like about this, other than it having a pretty good reputation, is it just, I think it looks fracking cool and sexy. Now, you will notice we've got some little screw holes up here up on top. Now what that is, is, you have another option. You can buy a top piece and make this a true quad rail from Carolina Shooter Supply. I don't know why I'm saying Carolina like that. I apologize, Carolina, good Lord, Carolina. Um, that top rail runs $64.95 um, from CSS. And I don't know if I mentioned that before, but the tri-rail on, on its own is $124.95. And of course you can buy them together and that runs $184.95. Now, I didn't really see myself attaching any kind of optics up front here. Um, this does have the side rail, so I probably eventually will do 
um, a red dot of some kind or another that way. Another thing I've seen a lot of reviews on these um, quad rails and I guess just the quad rails for the Sayaga Saga. And a lot of times you'll see that the top rail, it comes back a little bit and you have to remove your rear sight. Now there's tons of videos of people trying to remove that rear sight unsuccessfully. So what they typically do is just hacksaw it off. I kind of like the idea of still having some kind of an iron sight as a backup sight on my gun, really any of my guns. So I didn't really want to do that. And one thing I will say, the top rail section of this, if you get the true quad rail from Carolina, um, it will not interfere with that rear sight. So you don't have to run into that issue of trying to remove, excuse me, the rear sight um, if you do want the quad rail, which I think is another nice benefit of the uh, Carolina Shooter Supply version that they have here. Um, also, real quick, I don't believe it's available yet, but they are coming out with the same quad rail, but with an extended um, top rail. So the bottom section is the same. Um, it just has that extended top piece. And they're advertising that as a kit with the lower and the upper um, at $224.95. I would imagine once they become available, they will offer the top rail all on its own for obviously a cheaper amount um, like they do with the regular length. Top rail. So some of the specs on this, solid billet aluminum. It's eight and a quarter inches, just so you can see. I mean, it is ever so slightly, just a smidgen shorter than the, um, the original handguard here. Um, but it kind of goes up here, so you know, you're not gonna be right on the edge with this, I wouldn't think. I don't think that would be an issue for too many people, but just so you know, that is there. And then the weight on this comes in at 12 ounces. Obviously, if you're getting the quad rail with that top piece, it's gonna be a little, bit, a little bit more weight added on there. So, just wanted to show you guys real quick the quad rail here. And like I said, I, I really like the way this looks. And I'm picky, I typically don't really like quad rails. Like I think this just on its own is, um, yeah, I mean, I can't stop stroking it, That's, sorry. Um, I just think it looks cool. Yep, it looks cool. So my plans are to get a vertical foregrip. I'm probably not gonna give a, put out a video on a vertical foregrip because it's a fracking vertical foregrip, um, which is actually kind of annoying because I was like, I'll just get the cheapest one. And then I was like, oh, well no, let me get something decent. It's a vertical foregrip. I don't know, I'll probably just get like a BCM or something. Um, I just want something round that sticks down that I can hold on to. That sounds kind of gross when I say it like that. So this is going to be the first step here. Got it on there. Mounted on, no issues. I will say I did have to take a mallet to the old original one. You might not need to do that because I did this while I was under quarantine with the coof. So, um... Obviously, I wasn't hospitalized or anything like that, but I definitely was feeling pretty crappy and under strength. And to be honest, um, like I'm short breath just making this video, but I usually get short breath making videos. So, um, might need a mallet. If you're going to be working on any kind of AK style gun to begin with, you should have a mallet in your toolbox. They come in handy. Also came in handy on the buttstock of this. That will be another video. I'm not going to show you that yet. Um, so I will be spitting out another video on the gas plug here. And then I'll put out another video probably on the pistol grip and the butt stock. And that's probably gonna be the extent of this, um, at least for now to show you guys. So that's it, short and simple. I meant it this time. Um, what are we at, under 10 minutes? Fantastic. So once again, this is the uh, Tri-Rail from Carolina Shooter Supply. And the, the full name of this on the website is the Carolina Sega 12 Tactical Billet Tri-Rail. And real quick, I will say the Carolina Shooter Supply, their website, it's got it broken down in Sega parts and Lynx parts. And almost all of those parts are the same. I did not find my gas plug on the Lynx listing. It does fit in there. Um, so uh, just so you know, they do have that option. So you know 100% that the part you're getting from them will fit on your Lynx because these Lynx seem to be getting really popular um, these days. All right, guys, that is it. Um, yeah, 
Thanks for watching. Uh, stay shiny. If you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe. If you're looking at getting a Sega Saga Chinese copy, Lynx 12, or any of those guns, Klishnikov USA. Um, like I said, I'll be putting out just a few more videos on little kind of basic upgrades for this, um, but those will be coming out soon. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Stay shiny.